Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the good news was we saw some rain today. It Unfortunately, did. others did not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really praying for Henderson County yeah. because they've had all the wildfires there. I think 40 in the last 42. two days or yeah. something. 42. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Good that is correct. just that is just a tough situation there. But let's go ahead and check out Longview. And there you go. Not a lot going on. We went over your rainfall totals earlier and some people again seeing a couple inches of rain. Some people not seeing hardly anything at all. But again, this is a live look at Longview. Temperature wise, those temps have come down just a little bit. We're now at 77. Winds are out of the southeast at six miles per hour. Of course, there's really no issue with visibilities because a we don't have fog and b we don't have any more rain in the area and I don't anticipate there to be any more rain tonight. Temperature wise, we are in the 70s and lower 80s. Look at that Lindale and Tyler Pounds Airport now at 80 degrees on the money. It's 77 in Southeast Tyler, 80 in Henderson, 77 as I mentioned at the East Texas Regional Airport. It's about a degree warmer in the heat island of downtown there. But as you move further to the south, in deep east Texas, NAC is at 76, it's 75 in Appleby, 77 in Mount Enterprise, 75 in San Augustine, it's 76 in Lufkin, Texas, and 77 in Trinity. Well, are you headed out this weekend? May not be a bad idea to either find a pool, a river, or a lake because, well, it's going to be hot again. There's really no changing that. We'll be in the triple digits both Saturday and Sunday. We could see the humidity tomorrow morning as well, which is why I am calling for some humid conditions on Saturday. And those lows not getting very low. We will be in the middle to upper 70s for those low temperatures. So the heat will continue to build. And I do anticipate by this weekend, if not tomorrow, definitely on Sunday, we will return to the triple digits. Now this area of high pressure, it's weakened some, but it is going to intensify and it's actually going to meander its way further to the east as it does so. Now let's go ahead and pause this here real quick. Now look at where the area of high pressure is and look where this big line is. That is all the influence of the area of high pressure. So when we say the entire south is hot and humid, this is what we mean. It's a very stagnant weather pattern all the way from the Four Corners region across Texas, across Oklahoma and parts of the deep south right there. Now, as we move into Monday and Tuesday, this is actually going to get a little closer to us, which will allow our temperatures to increase. And then as we move into Tuesday and Wednesday, not as big of an influence, but we could start to see the back door open up here on the east side for some showers to reenter the area by Thursday and then as we go into Friday as well. So what does that mean as far as our six to 10 day precipitation outlook goes? This would be valid starting next Thursday and won't run through next week in the green. That's good news. That means above average precipitation for some of our northern counties, but I think it's going to favor more so parts of Oklahoma and northern Arkansas. It's still going to be hot. High pressure. It's not going anywhere. It may be in a weakened state, but I still expect above average temperatures as we head into the later part of next week. And that's all reflected right here. I do have the triple digits, as I mentioned, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at the very least. And then Thursday and Friday, we could be slightly cooler with that rain chance coming back in on Friday and then deep east Texas 100s do return for your Sunday 102 Monday with a pop up shower possible as we move into Tuesday through Friday. Neil Casey Carson. Thank you. Two years